Hey, look who I found, Chance the Rapper, and we've got a joke for you. Hey, Leon, what do they call a golfer with a big-ass hat? I don't know, Chance. What do you call a golfer with a big-ass hat? A supervisor. Legend Leon Rogers to my far left, the beautiful Miss Tia Ewing, Fox News. Give it up for Tia. Thank you, Leon. And as you saw, opening up the show with me, my man, my mellow, he's coming a long way and he's doing big things with big ass coats. Get Give it up for Chance the Rapper. Wait, now, come on, dog. Let's talk about this jacket. Oh, wait, wait. Let's talk about this jacket. It's really cold outside. <laughs> here in Chicago. I don't know why I thought that this was a weather thing, but I figured that I would wear this big ass coat <laughs> to symbolize the beginning of winter in Chicago. <laughs> so you just saw this like, boom, I gotta have that. Oh, I've had this jacket for many years. <laughs> 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 and it only comes out when it's extremely cold outside. All right, now, so married man, family, the new album speaks on that. I see you with oh, the nice bling. nice ring, yeah. yeah. Look, look. <laughs> Were you like an impulse shopper before you got married? Like, did you see something like, ooh, I gotta get them fresh kicks, and now that you married your wife, be like, you don't need that. I was, I was always a saver, so okay. when I realized I wanted to pop the question, I saw the ring, and then I started saving up money for it. Oh, it was just two days? Two days? Two days. <laughs> a day and a half. A day and a half. <laughs> I, was, I was really just nervous. I was convincing myself that I was saving, <laughs> but I was just taking my time. All right. Tia, what we got? <laughs> All right, in honor of this big ass coat, yeah. <laughs> let's talk about the winter here in Chicago. So this is very interesting. Last year around this time, about 41 degrees chance. Today, 25 degrees, and it feels like 11. And you got to see what happened at O'Hare Airport because of all of the snow. What you're looking at right there, that is a plane that had just come from Greensboro, North Carolina, and you see what happened. Whoa. Yeah, it looked rough, didn't it? Skid it right off the runway. The good news, no one was injured, but this is an introduction to winter, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, this is terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it's horrible. Right, look, they say the, the worst time for planes is takeoff and, and landing. landing. And I've been on some planes where they skip it in. And, <laughs> I'm like, hey, fam, you can't make that a little easy. I, I know. I, me, though, me and being that black guy on that plane, <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm getting some free coupon vouchers. <laughs> me up. I said, I'm nervous. I need free coupon for vouchers. For drinks or yeah. for future flights? For future flights. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yes, that plane was slipping and sliding. Also, it's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep leaning into the joke of how big this jacket is. <laughs> that well, is a really big coat. What was that? <laughs> you look like, like a cartoon <laughs> I went for a giant drive. bam to come over your head. <laughs> you didn't drive today, right? Somebody drove you. No, that would be extremely dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> they just rolled me into the car and shit. Okay. I, All right. Well, we got All right, we got to talk about... <laughs> we got to talk about the Chicago Bears. Um, a lot of people are really excited that they won against the Lions yeah. yesterday. You great, know, me personally. Great win against the Lions. That's how I feel. Simeon can beat the Lions. <laughs> That's how I feel. By what 12. Yeah. What are your thoughts about the Bears this season? It's tough for them, man. <laughs> it's tough being a fan, <laughs> you know? I can't even this <laughs> What we need to do <laughs> is decrease the divide <laughs> in the community. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> we need a black quarterback. Well, hey, well. No, but real, real talk. Real. real talk. Colin Kaepernick is still out there. Yep. Cam Newton is disgruntled in uh, Carolina. So if they wave Cam Newton, I'd love to see it. I, like I said before, I do think Mitchell Trubisky could play quarterback. He has to learn the game, though, first. I mean, he's still learning how to play quarterback. But, I mean, you know, you give Colin Kaepernick a call, he could come right in, run that offense, even Absolutely. in that big ass. This is a serious thing. I didn't know we was going to talk about Colin Kaepernick. I would have never worn his jacket. <laughs> But you did. I'm so sorry. And, and I don't know. You know, I guess the biggest thing for me is, is that the people biggest are... thing is this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People are celebrating.
celebrating this win, including the Bears. They operated as usual with Club Dub, and I think personally they need to lay off. Look at this. They're really celebrating 2013. I don't know. I didn't yeah. consider it to be like an amazing and, win. And personally. Detroit had a chance to win that game late. Yeah. They had a chance to tie it up or, or go for the win, but I mean, it is what it is. They broke Matthew Stafford's back, so that's probably <laughs> the only good thing that came out. But his back probably wouldn't have gotten broken if he had one of these. <laughs> You really need to do some stand-up I swear to God, this look like one of them samurai suits. <laughs> yeah. When you go to the carnival and they put you in the samurai suit. This is suit. the kind of coat that you wear when somebody's trying to see if dogs can yeah. catch yeah. dogs. <laughs> yeah. And they get... And you're training them. Or you could just set this joint on fire. Right, right. right. And when, run through a building like a stuntman. I got I this coat know. two or three years ago in Los Angeles. <laughs> what? I couldn't, the coat. I couldn't wear it there. <laughs> I don't, I, Obviously. But, T, I don't know what I'm more mad at, the coat or how he's looking. How he <laughs> looks. <laughs> he looked like a little kid. Like, look at me. I knew he was going to look like this Because I look coat. crazy in the cameras. <laughs> All, right. All right, what we got? <laughs> Veterans Day. Yes. We got to talk about that. We know yeah, that you're a veteran, talk. Leon. Absolutely, and we have man. Four yeah. Seal, Four Seal yeah. Oklahoma, Bravo, first in the 30th field artillery unit. Shout out to all my people that's still out there. Shout out to my brothers and sisters that's overseas and across the water. I always say Veterans Day is important to me because I don't think people, what people really understand what the armed forces are. Right. Armed forces keep people up out of here. So you got people that sacrifice daily to be away from their families, to be overseas in other countries where they don't know the language, to uh, maintain the freedom of the United States. Okay. I mean, you know, and the soldiers get a bad rap because they're like, oh, you this, this, this. Soldiers only do what the suits tell them to do. That's but right. at the end of the day, when I was a soldier, it was never about fighting for the country per se. It was fighting for my loved ones and to right. get myself back home today. Right. So, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, respect. I got I ain't nothing but respect for veterans. Yeah, so thank you for your service thank and you. for all the veterans that have served for yeah. sure. Yeah. I'm appreciative of the veterans as well. My grandfather, uh, I think served in Vietnam. Vietnam. I got uh, my aunt Bridget. Shout out my aunt Bridget. All my family that lives in North Carolina, all of them were in the service. For brag, baby. Yeah. So hey man. Thank you. Look, shout out to all the veterans, man. We'll be right back more with my man Chance the I'm Rapper. I'm going to take this coat off yeah. <laughs> just in case there's any more up. serious <laughs> questions. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>